Um, hi, my name's Stella, I'm 28. I started using the Warren about 12 years ago and I'm currently working as a social worker. Um, so I first came to the Warren when my brother started using the building. Um, so I knew of the building, I knew sort of, you know, the support that he could get there. Um, I started using it myself when I was about 16. Um, my mum had passed away um, and I wasn't up to good stuff, just sort of here, there and everywhere, partying, doing what, you know, I shouldn't have been doing really. Um, and then the more and more that we came into the Warren during the day, sort of groups of friends, you know, staff would sort of approach you, have conversations like, hi, yeah, what are your plans today? Did you know this is on? And it just seemed a good thing to get involved with, you know, it was not just something for us to do at the time, but it was a friendly atmosphere, you know, we weren't getting into trouble, we weren't bored, you know, it was a, a nice environment and a chilled environment, we could all hang out, you know, it was cool as well, do you know. Um, and I think just after a few years of, of coming in and taking part in the thing and, you know, things weren't really working out for me outside of the Warren. You know, I was living in a hostel, um, needed to get my own accommodation, needed to get another job. Um, and I think it was just a case of the staff supporting me to apply for jobs, you know, motivating you if you was coming in and like you'd maybe not got a job, they were there to sort of talk you through it, you know, what went wrong, what can you do next time. Um, and I think also being a part of the groups, the sort of, you know, the, the residentials especially as well, they were confidence building in, in your character. So it sort of give you that confidence to say, oh, do you know what, yeah, I can do that, you know, and I can work as part of a team. And and I think the Warren have really helped to sort of just ground you as a, ground me as a person. So, you know, sort of when everything's a bit up in the air and you, you're in a p potential position to go anywhere, potentially down a really bad road, they sort of, you know, give you that crossroads to say, look, these are your options and the choice is yours. You know, not saying this is what you should be doing. It's about what do you want to achieve? And I think that sort of encouragement is what's helped me just try and pick different paths rather than the paths that I was on, really. You know, they helped me with that relationship breakdown, going through the courts, everything like that. And again, all of this was sort of empowering me as a person. Um, and then eventually when it came to the point where I was too old to come into the war and it was like, right, okay, this is just me now. You know, what, what can I use? What can I do? Who's gonna support me now? Um, and I think it's just been ingrained through the years of coming in here that you shouldn't give up, you know, you should aim higher, you know. I knew there was a potential that I could achieve whatever I wanted to achieve as long as I put it in. And I sort of went from there really and spoke to you know, the university, just to see what my options were. I knew that there was staff in the Warren doing degrees alongside the jobs as well. So, you know, I knew that that was a, a possibility. Um, so it was just a case of speaking to the university, seeing what my options were. They told me about the social work degree um, and I just jumped for it. I just went for it and it, I'd literally give up my job in the call centre not knowing what I was going to do for childcare, money. It was one of them where it's just like, right, let's go for it, just do it. And I remember my boss at the call centre said, um, you're putting all your eggs in one basket. And if you do that, that's that's a bad thing. You shouldn't really take a risk like that. And then that was sort of like, well, I'll, I'll prove you wrong. Do you know what I mean? And I, I did, I just jumped for it and I went for it. And three years later, I graduated and I'm sort of working in the voluntary sector myself now. Um, but the Warren have just they've empowered me, inspired me to, to just keep achieving, you know, things aren't going to be perfect things are going to be tough, but there's a lot of people within this city that are struggling with certain aspects of, you know, money, employment, drug use, homelessness, and having a base like the Warren to come back to, it's like, a, it's a magnet, this building, it's like a magnet to me. That's why when I graduated, I came back here, because as soon as I put my gown on, you know, most people are all getting pictures taken by their mum and dad and stuff like that, but if you haven't got that, this obviously felt like my mum and dad, do you know what I mean? So straight away I put my gown and I was like, I said to my friend, we've got to go to the Warren. And that's what made me come back. I, I wasn't planning on coming here, it was literally when I put my cap and gown on and everybody else is sort of spending time with their family, whereas it was just me and my friend. So I think it was a case of, I see this building and the staff within it as my family through that time, you know, because they were the ones that gave me that advice, the guidance, the encouragement and were just there when you needed to cry, shout, slam doors, you know, really vent, you know, and it wasn't a case of, right, that's it, we're ringing the police, like most places would. 
the Warren would be like, right, come on, let's get you a cup of tea. Do you know what I mean? And let's sit down and talk you through it. And I think that sort of guidance is what makes this place special to a lot of people and people keep homing back. If the Warren wasn't here, I wouldn't have been able to ground myself. And I think without that grounding, I'd have carried on in the behaviours that I was doing because I was in pain. So I wouldn't have been able to resolve that pain. I'd have had nowhere to get rid of that pain and to learn how to manage that pain as I grew up. So I think if, the, well I know, if the warrant wasn't here, I'd have stayed with a crowd that I shouldn't have been with and I knew that I shouldn't have been with them, but there wouldn't have been any other alternative. I had, the warrant gave me an alternative and without that, I'd have carried on using drugs. I wouldn't have had the, the kind words that I had, you know, and the, the motivation and I wouldn't have had the belief, you know, that people showed in me here. And I think without that, I'd have, you know, my confidence would have just get, got lower and lower. I'd have just carried on fulfilling selfish needs rather than needs that I knew to, to better myself as a person. So yeah, if the Warren wasn't here, I'd definitely, I'd, I would be in a completely different place because it's, you know, like I say, it, it's not the Warren itself that changes your life, it's you. However, the Warren really roots the core principles of what you need to, to look at and remember when you're going through those hard times.